Hello everyone, welcome back to Rex Carol channel. Um, so today we're going to talk about how do we put MetaHuman uh, with a driving video of the facial expression and make the human and the human actually move uh, like how we speak uh, with this facial expression. Uh, and my challenge here is I also have one video that I do testing that uh, with a lot of shoulders movement and uh, like shaking head, um, but it still work perfectly metahuman. I realized this method uh, could be very versatile, can use in a lot of avatars uh, that looks like human, but it didn't mean it, it will work for sure on your avatar because it might confuse the AI, uh, maybe your accessories or maybe with ears or anything, right? Uh, so it depends on your avatar. Uh, but for metahuman wise, it, it works so well. And um, I tested a lot of different things and metahuman uh, gave the best result and I hope you guys enjoy it. In this tutorial, there's uh, two sections. One is for beginners, uh, how to install the, uh, the, the library that we're using from Live Portrait. They did an amazing job. Um, and I'll put the description in the link. And the second part is uh, we'll just go straight into how to generate it and what you be, be careful and make sure you check everything you need in the checkbox. Very, very simple tutorial. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And again, you can always skip to any section you want. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Cheers. Alrighty, so let's try to set up and prepare the environment for the whole project. Oh, well, you want to make sure you install Git, uh, but you the next thing you want to do is you install Miniconda uh, because it's uh, a little bit uh, smaller than the uh, original Conda. Um, I know the link is a little bit weird, so uh, we'll go for the website and show you how, how to download the uh, installer. Now we download the installers. For a website, just click on it. Okay, next, agree, next, next. And I want to save my memory space, so I just gonna press on the uh, clear button. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna want to try to find a path, uh, but because it's a hidden folder, uh, so I'm gonna I pass a view and show the hidden folder, and I'm gonna go to. Um, it's not in the program file while we install the Miniconda. It's gonna be in the program data. Okay, now we found it, and go to the scripts and uh, copy the path. All right, we got it, and uh, we're gonna add that to our environment variables. All right, let's go here. Variables, this path, new, paste. Okay, 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 all right. So we'll test it, now let's start our PowerShell. Kana, okay, all right. It's installed properly. Okay, we're gonna go to the uh, live portrait git, search it up and found it here. I'll put the link in the description just in case. Uh, follow the steps. We want to make sure you install the git again. Paste it. All right, now we want to create the uh, content environment. Okay, so we close it and start PowerShell again. You need the conda because it's a fresh install. Start it again. Your list of my environment, if you forget it, just use env list. Go 
go back to the uh, git folder for the live portrait next thing activate the live portrait environment all right now we're ready cool now install the requirements it takes a while and I'm gonna speed it up when I edit the video All right. So now let's download the P train wait. Um, I prefer the method of go to Google Drive and down, download it, but you guys could do whatever way you want. There's three ways of that. Uh, you can go to Baidu driver. Um, I also use uh, the LFS git, but I prefer this way, it's simpler. You download file, along with the file. I'm gonna extract the file in the meanwhile. Okay, now extract the other one. Okay, perfect. Checked it out, okay. Everything looks right. Uh, it could be paste in the pre-train weight folder. Okay, so we ready for the next section. Remember, it's in the git repo uh, pre-train weights folder, just in case you forget. All right, all righty. Now we should get everything ready, and now we could move to the metahuman part and how do we uh, move it in the live portrait. So you should have your live portrait cloned, cloned, and now we want to activate our conda environment. So conda, um, you, if you don't know what you have, uh, you could always use uh, the environment list. And it show I have the live portrait over here. So conda, uh, activate uh, live portrait. Okay, so. I got it done and I should go to where I installed the git and now we have everything we need. Um, what we need is simple. What we'll do is just start the uh, python app.py. Uh, depends on your computer power, uh, it may take you a longer time and it may uh, be really fast. Uh, but for the first time you run it, uh, it may take a longer time. Okay, so let's wait. Okay, dokes, so we got this link and I'm gonna copy this link and then put it on my browser. Okay, so we're here. Um, so you, what I suggest is uh, just like what a git said, uh, you could create your own driving video what I did, um, but you need to be very, very careful um, on your shoulder, um, try not to move it like really quickly or else it seems to be failing. Uh, although in my tutorial, uh, the MetaHuman works so well that I'm able to get it really clear uh, even I move with the music. Uh, but that is actually a rare case, uh, but I'm gonna show you guys how to get the MetaHuman part. Okay, so let's start the uh, MetaHuman creator. Okay, I have my MetaHuman creator. Um, you can just go to metahuman.unrealengine.com over here. Um, as we just start. Okay, so we're starting the MetaHuman creator from the website. Uh, it takes a while. 
and I'll post the link in the description just in case. If you don't know how to create your own MetaHuman uh, through the MetaHuman creators, uh, there's one little tutorial uh, anywhere around YouTube and also from my channel. And uh, please feel free to take a look. Okie doke, so uh, I got my MetaHuman. And I'm gonna, let's say I choose this one. Um, if you have some old MetaHuman, you might want to just press upgrade. Uh, but in my case, I got it ready already. Uh, so I just select the one. Uh, I press editing. Uh, ignore the Japanese part. Um, it's the same same location for the for the for the buttons. Um, I'm gonna stop where he's moving. Uh, you see right here. Now he's not moving anymore, right? I, I can zoom in a little bit, and then I just use the screenshot button um, to take a screenshot. So I just do the screenshot over here, and then I just prop it over here to here. You know. Just like a square, you know, and then after that, okay, looks I got this image uh, of my man human. Uh, of course, you could zoom out a bit and you could uh, do it in post, but I, I find out the idle face is the most useful part for the man human, and I highly recommend that too. All right, so we get the pictures, and now let's put the pictures in use. All right, so now we are back. Um, we're gonna put the image over here. Um, I have my image uh, downloaded. It should be on my desktop. Okay, so I have my MetaHuman. Um, it got cut out, but don't worry about it. It's the error of the browser. Um, there's a couple options that I want to remind you. Uh, for a driving video, like I said, you need to, you need to crop it, or maybe you, you need to check, make sure you check the do crop driving video. Uh, I highly recommend this part. Um, and then you want to always focus on the head area for your video and uh, minimize shoulder movement if you could. Uh, but my video, uh, my MetaHuman actually works really well, uh, even for the video that is moving. So I got my video, um, I got my face test 2 over here. Um, I have my first one too. Uh, I can show it. Uh, it. It actually do really well. I mean, let's try it. Okay, so this is my face test 1. You can see it's long and uh, the, video, the video didn't show up. There's some bug in the browser when the video is too long, it just don't show. Uh, but you can just ignore it. Uh, and I want to remind you guys again, if you get the error, um, when you're running program, when it's doing animating uh, in the script, uh, for example, over here it says errors and stuff like that. Uh, you want to make sure you install VLC and put the VLC in the path. Uh, if you have any question, maybe I will I'll explain it in the comment line or anything like that. Okay, so I have the video, I have the image, and I'll just press animate. Now it should run. Sweet. Alrighty, there we go. So we get the uh, animated video and we get the original uh, video uh, with the motion. Let's check it out. Pretty nice, eh? Yeah. Okay, let's check here. It's a side by side comparison. Man, this is awesome. This tech is really great, and I think we can really put in production. I, I seldom do videos on a lot of things. Uh, it's because I, seriously, there's a lot of AI out there, but I, I don't think there's a lot of things that could be in production. But uh, this is one of them that I think we could put it in use. Um, very, very awesome job uh, from my life portrait. I like them. Awesome. Cool. So we got this. Uh, and. I want to try the one that uh, we showed earlier in the other video uh, for my, uh, from the one that I actually move a lot on my shoulder and uh, with the singing and everything. Um, if this works, like pretty much you could do like singing on your YouTube video and using other characters that you want. Okay, let's wait. Okay, dog. So now we got this. Um, why don't we watch it side by side? Man, this is awesome. You see, the hardest part of this is the head moving. And for other avatar, uh, if you're not like so well done, 
um, you may get somewhere cut on the hair, hair and on the face, uh, but it's so well done. You can see like it really like the same. And for the head movement shift, uh, this is not easy and and this is very amazing result. Awesome, so that's it. And uh, I'll post a couple of results that I have in the end of the video and I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, have a try. Okay, guys, see you. Oh, hello. Oh, hello.